Welcome back to Powerhouse. This segment we're talking geothermal and geothermal takes the heat from the ground and helps heat a home. And joining us to tell about tell us about it is Aaron Teescutter from LADCO. And Aaron, let's break it down. What is geothermal and explain it for our viewers. Well, geothermal uses the heat from the ground, uh, the constant temperature from the ground through water pipes that are basically ran out in the ground. Um, those water, the loop is buried approximately 15 feet on this project uh, through directional boring. And the fluid in there is a combination of water and antifreeze and that is pumped through those pipes with this pump station here. And in turn that pump station also is pumping the water through our heat pump which is producing our heating and cooling equipment from that ground temperature, that constant ground temperature of about 50 to 55 degrees. Well, Aaron, I'm impressed, you know, when we think about geothermal, a lot of folks might think that it takes a lot of space, but I mean, it's really right here. And I mean, this, the pump is, is very small. That is correct. Uh, this is a basic footprint of, of pretty much every geothermal that's out there. Uh, you have your loops coming in from the ground, you know, a small pump, and then the heat pump. Now, geothermal, it's really, we're not creating energy, but we're using less energy, correct? We are using less energy because we're using the energy from the ground that is there year, year round, 50 to 55 degrees. And we're using that energy from that ground to help produce our heating and cooling. We're either extracting that heat or rejecting heat from the home. Aaron, we're in the lower level of a new construction, but you can also do geothermal with retrofit, correct? That is correct. I would say about 50% of our installations are a retrofit application. There's typically one extra step where we have a hole we cut in the concrete to bring the loops up in, uh, and then we fill that with concrete. That's basically the same thing as new construction, only one extra step. Let's talk about the added benefits of using a geothermal system. Uh, the added benefits is everything's all in your home. You know, we don't no longer have a unit sitting out in the elements, you know, the wear and tear of the weather. Uh, we can also produce some domestic hot water with the geothermal unit while we're heating or cooling a home. And that's, that's the added savings right there in terms of, uh, and I look, we've got dual tanks right here, but uh, you know, you're, you're getting that water warmed up or it's already warmed up, right? Yeah, we're preheating it with the geo unit. So instead of bringing in 50, 55 degree well water, you know, that going into your primary tank may be 70, 80, 90 or above. Okay. Uh, a lot of folks out there, you know, they've heard about geothermal and let's talk about the, the cost of putting a geothermal system in. Yeah, we're looking at typically sixteen to twenty-five thousand dollars. Okay, and that seems like a, a lot of dollars. But how about in terms of payback on a, on a, a geothermal system? Typical payback uh, is going to be four to seven years, and you know the uh, heating and cooling company can provide you a return on investment calculation uh, to compare that. And uh, there's some incentives and rebates depending upon where you're living, right? Correct. Yeah, we've seen you know utility incentives along with federal and state tax credits. And, and depending upon gas prices, a lot of geothermals are seeing right now, at least, lower monthly payments, right? Sub substantially lower monthly payments. Correct, and that varies from house to house again, but typically when we look at uh, return on investments, we're seeing a savings of approximately $50 a month. And, and maintenance wise, uh, very minimal. Again, as, as we look here, I mean, the pump and the system here, I'm impressed because there's not a lot of maintenance, right? Correct. Uh, it's pretty much for the homeowner the same as a standard system, keeping the air filter clean. Um, outside of that, you know, we recommend that a professional comes in once a year to maintain that, uh, to make sure it's operating peak performance, saving them money, and then also protecting their warranty. Well, Aaron, a lot of great information on geothermal. About 40% of your home's energy use is heating your home. That's right. Cold weather can really take its toll on your heating system. But at least we learned some ways to keep your furnace up to the task. We did. It starts with changing the furnace filter and getting an annual checkup. Not to mention all the different types of heating systems that are out there. Megan, I particularly like the mini split for older homes or renovations. I do too, but I really like the efficiency of geothermal. It's a really smart way to harness nature to help you save energy. And just another way to make your house a powerhouse. Megan's wardrobe provided by Dress Barn.